Hey guys, Alfred Montaner here. If you want to see an amazing area where you can hang out with your family in the Everglades, stay tuned and watch this video. Let's see. Let's see what this guy does. All right. There's another flats boat. Is this another guy or is this the same guy? Maybe it's another guy. We'll see. We'll see now, guys. All right. So he's going to come out of here. I want to, I want to see the track that they they do right oh boy so i just saw a manatee dude there's fish rolling everywhere um guys keep an eye on the water you're gonna see fish rolling you're gonna see manatees you're gonna look okay so here's he, here's a flats boat coming out guys oh man this place is beautiful dude get ready All right, so let's look exactly their track, right? Where they go, they look look how they have to go. This is not, guys, if you don't follow the markers, you're gonna hit a shoal. Um, and this is known for flats, guys, right? Because it's really skinny water. I mean, I wouldn't dare to come out here with a big old center console because more than likely, you may have a problem, right? I could be wrong. Maybe if people didn't know this area very well, um could navigate the waters but look so he's gonna come all around and uh he's gonna end up that way as well guys you see all the bugs that are on the screen look this guy's here kayak fishing he's over here there's some drums red drums and stuff like that and red fish i did see some tarpon rolling as well Oh, look, 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 look at the manatee. Look at the manatee. Oh, she just, she just went down. Come on, man. So yeah, manatee's here. And uh, it's, it's really pretty, really pretty, pretty air. I don't know what, what's going on back here. There's a building that looks kind of, I wouldn't say abandoned, but it might be under construction. And then, and the backdrop, obviously, is the actual ramps. The ramps are back here. And then you have the entire marina. I'm going to go ahead and walk real quick. I'm going to walk to an area where there is um, a camping section where, where people go and pull the tents and also have these views. So let's go ahead and walk that area real quick. I'm going to, I'm going to kind of be quiet here, okay? Because here's the thing, I want to keep my voice low. Uh, it's very scenic right here. This is a section which they call the amphitheater. And guys, I am putting all these sections down below exactly where I'm filming from. And this is to the right side of where we were just at the marina. Just a little bit towards the right another amazing view and then there's a campground back here um, in the direction I'm about to point the camera so you have some local fishermen that are here this area also in the cooler months is also known as an area where people camp um, if you see back here I think these are these are actual tents you can rent out from the park. I would advise you to go to the National Park website so you guys can see exactly more information. There's a little outhouse here, so if you need to go to the restroom, back here. Very, very nice, very scenic. Amazing colors, guys. And then you got some more flat spots back there. Look, the back, all the way back there. All right, real quick, very, very quick, guys. Word of warning, if you go anywhere in the park and you see signs that says, you know, cover your car, the vultures, they like to jump on the windshields and break the rubber 
off of your windshield wipers. It's the weirdest thing in the world, but they do it. And um, I'll try to see if I can find one of the places where they, you see them here just hanging out. Those guys, they're just sitting above waiting for someone to make a mistake. All right, so if you do come out here, you have two ramps uh, here. And I think that they said that there's one inside the actual marina. Uh, when they say the inside, they, here are the, these two. And from what they were explaining, back here, I guess where the boats are, the bigger boats. And I do think you can do like a glass bottom tour or some type of tour here. And I'll find out here at the marine store. But yeah, you can... Uh, launch your boat out of here. I gotta find out if there's an additional fee or that's included with the park pass. So here are some houseboats that you can actually rent here. And uh, this is on the opposite side. And I do believe that because it is very narrow, they drive it out and then they pick up the captain and then you can go ahead and have a good time. Here's another ramp, guys. Very, very nice. This is the backside, right? Backside that leaves you inshore as opposed to the Florida Bay. You see all the birds in the backdrop. You hear the birds chirping as well. It's just so cool. Now, the cool thing about the Everglades is that you see it like this in one section. You go a little bit further and it's completely different somewhere else. So we're gonna continue driving, guys. We started this video at Flamingo and now we're heading towards the entrance of the park and we're that's where we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish so you guys can see exactly some of the things now i will link another video in the area so you guys can know what you can do prior prior to coming to the actual park because there's a lot of cool things that you could do very very close by and uh, and you guys can go ahead and check that out as well looks like more boaters are coming back to flamingo These are those moments that you can only capture, guys, with a very, very long lens. This is uh, obviously a bird back here. And uh, I mean, it's, it's really, really pretty back here. I just came on the side of the road. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see how the scenery has changed. All right, all right guys, so we're gonna just walk this one here. I definitely, this is the closest one I want you guys to see. And I think there's a good opportunity that we might see uh, an alligator, so. Look at, they're telling you, don't leave your valuables in your vehicle. And uh, I would assume that, you know, every now and then there's some bad apples that will come over here knowing that there's not a lot of people in this area thankfully there's a lot of people at the, at the moment here um but think about it right so you're in the middle of the everglades somebody can go ahead and just you know break your window take whatever they see in the car definitely good opportunity to see an alligator Look, we got a, this is the Gumbo Limbo Trail. But 
beach. I'm not going to spoil it for you guys, but I will take you guys a little bit in it, right? So you guys can see what's going on. Might as well just make the investment and walk it so you guys can see it. Oh, nice. Look how cool this is, dude. See, this is where you got to bring your kids, guys. If you're here locally, look, there's a turtle back there. Ah, oh, you won't be able to see it. Do you guys see it over there? Cool, cool stuff. So yeah, I'm sure if you bring the kids, you know, they'll be entertained by all the things that they can see, you know? Now, like I said, guys, there's countless number of trails like this within the Everglades. And the cool thing about them is that they're all different. Every single one is different. You go to Pinelands, it's completely different from Mahogany. So definitely, I would say if you're in a hurry, you know, give a half a day to the park. And if you want to get a good days in, go and, and do a full day. Oh, look, we are out right where we started, dude, but on the side. Cool. That was pretty awesome. There it is. Cool. Really, really cool. All right, so let's go ahead and all right, we started. We started up here. So here's what I would tell you to do. I would say, come, yeah, walk this area first back here where, where you might see an alligator and then enter here and then you can exit to where your car is, which is back here. And then there's uh, the parking. Let's see if we see a, a gator. So here we will see an alligator. Not a crocodile, an alligator. Look how pretty this area is. All right. So they're already warning you of the alligators. Okay. Now, guys, always remember, don't feed any wild animal, especially a reptile, because that's not good for them or you. Grasshoppers are mating right there. Look how clear the water is. Now, if you look close, you'll probably see two eyes staring at you from under the water. You gotta look good for these guys. Well, listen, we can walk further, but 
I don't want to really do that to you guys. I want you guys to come over here for yourself. Um, here's a perfect example. Some of the exotic fish that are here that are unwelcome guests. Now, look at the way the water flows. There's a little baby alligator on the side over there where those people are taking a picture. Oh, he's right there. Yeah, he's, Thank cute. he's cute until he's not. Exactly. Guys, <laughs> yes, look where how the water flows. See how the water is flowing? So that's the story of the Everglades. Let's go see where what these people are seeing as far as that little alligator. You see guys you see look how look how how close look at him right there you guys see him right there oh boy he's a baby for sure baby i don't even want to get any closer yeah you guys see any bigger ones over there yeah Yeah, he's moving. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to walk back. I want to go ahead and tell you guys, thank you for joining me on this little adventure. If you haven't seen some of my walking tours of South Florida and Miami and all those good places, take a look at them. I think you guys will enjoy it. Completely little different. I've been wanting to do this video for you guys for a long, long time. There's a lot to do here in Everglades National Park. Bring your family and... Uh, you guys will definitely have a good time. Alfred Montaner signing off. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and find that flag, guys, so we can finish this video. We're almost reaching the end of the road, my friends. And there it is. That is the park entrance. So, like I said in the beginning of the video, $30 for the week pass or $80 for the annual pass. And I'll show you real quick where we're going to go ahead and take the customary picture from. You will take the picture coming up here. Now you have your visitor center. When you walk in, when you come into the park, here to your left, you'll see the visitor center. Um, which I would encourage you guys to go in, especially if you have, you know, to go to the bathroom right there. See, that's the entrance to the visitor center right there. And here's uh, one of the signs. But this is not the sign you want to take the picture of, from, guys. You want to take the picture here coming up to your left I'll show you guys now so technically right now we're already outside of the park but where you will take the picture would be coming up right here right before the park so you'll see it now this little section all right so here it is guys see right here that is your picture moment and I'm gonna put the information down below so you guys can see it <laughs> download that app what three words and you can exa exactly know where I was positioning myself when I was filming this video Alfred Montaner signing off amazingness that is what we do